Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to build proper navigation lights for a airliner. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So guys, sorry there wasn't a video in the past five, six days. I was caught up on homework and I had to catch up. So um, we're gonna go over how to build proper navigation lights in a airliner. So there is about 12 that you could possibly put on. Well, 12, there's more than 12, but uh, depending on how detailed you wanna to go to. Um, but let's go ahead and go over them. So we have first navigation lights. I'll go over that. Logo lights, strobe lights, beacon lights, cabin lights, landing lights, taxi lights, and dome lights, which uh, dome lights is just the cockpit lights. So you could also name that cockpit lights. Okay, then on some airliners, they have a left turn light for taxiing, so taxi left turn right, taxi right turn light, fasten seatbelt, and no smoking sign. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'll show you where you need to put them. So now that we're in the workbench, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the beacon lights. So these are basically to indicate that the engines are on on a plane so that people don't get too close to them. And it's a safety measure. And the beacon lights, I do believe they do blink. So you just, um. When you want to turn them on, you put them through a blinker and put them on for 0.3 or 4, and then off for 0.3 or 4. Okay, so that's beacon lights. Oh, something I didn't mention is they are red, so they do have to be indicated as red. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do logo lights, which I personally just use a spotlight for this. So this is a option, you don't have to do it, but basically this just indicates a logo if you have one on a plane. So what I do is I, I go to black and additive, and then I paint the actual spotlight so it's very dark, so it's not too light. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do strobe and navigation lights. So let's go ahead and grab a light. We'll place them here and here. Yeah, this one it needs to face out. Okay, and we're going to put one here as well on the back of the plane. So the one on the back, that is a white light Okay, so the navigation lights are going to be red and green. The strobe lights are going to be white. So the right of the aircraft is going to be a green navigation light. And on the left of the aircraft, they are going to be red. So the strobe lights, they blink. So the blinking ratio is one to two. So it's on for one second and two off. Well, two seconds off, but it's not exactly one and two seconds. That would be a little bit too long. So what I'd suggest to do for those would be a simple blinker of two seconds off, or sorry, two seconds on and four seconds off. Okay, then now what we need to do is we need to do landing lights. So landing lights can be either on the landing gear or on the wings. So for this, we're going to do on the wings. So we're simply just gonna go ahead and break into the wings just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and grab a spotlight. We're gonna place it right here, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and paint it to this tan color. It gives it a nice uh, warm glow, I guess you could say. So now we're just going to simply paint this to a regular color, just black, just like this. All right, now we're gonna grab a one by two window and we'll just simply place it right here. So that will be our landing lights. Okay, now the next thing you're wanting to do is do taxi lights. So the taxi lights can either be on the landing gear itself, which is suggested, or if you don't have space, like if there's no blocks you can place it onto, which technically I can, I just have to simply cut and paste this away for a second. So I just cut it and paste it right there. Now I'm going to simply, oh, press Control Z because I placed a block on accident. But I'm basically just gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna grab a spotlight. I'll just simply place it down right here. Um, okay, so the line, uh, actual landing gear is going to get in the way, but that's okay. So. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and cut and paste this back just like this. Okay, let's go ahead and merge it back. So that will be our taxi light. So the taxi light will be at a constant on, same with uh, the landing lights. All right, now, if you want to, we have your left and right turning uh, taxi lights. So what we could do for this is we could simply just break away right here. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and place it right here, just like this. So we're gonna actually change it to uh, this light right here. We're gonna face it out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cover the surroundings just like that. 
Okay, then we'll just grab a simple window, a one by one window. So this will indicate that we're taxing, or this will indicate, this will show us the runway while we are turning left for taxi. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do dome lights, which are right here. These will just be the inside lights. Then the cabin lights will be out throughout the aircraft and that will just light up the cabin. So that was very simple. That was all you needed to know. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to simply hook it up. So we go ahead and do the landing lights, which are right here and here and here and here okay now we have our cabin lights which i didn't do cabin lights but i'll i'll do it on my own time okay we're going to do cockpit lights which are also dome lights okay and we have taxi lights so that'll be the indication for taxiing then we also have our logo lights which are way back here which will show us our logo okay then we have our navigation lights which are the colored ones that do not blink Okay, so let's just simply light them up just like that. All right, now we have our beacon lights, which we need a blinker for this. This one right here. So we're just going to simply place it down here, just like this uh, right here. There we go. So the, the beacon lights will do off for 0.4 and on for 0.4. So let's go ahead and connect them up to the blinker. And then from the blinker, we'll connect it up to the beacon. All right, well, to the actual on signal, which is right here. Okay, now navigation lights. I swear I did this. Um, something's messed up here. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this. That shouldn't be repli rep replicated twice. That's odd. Um, I don't know. All right, I don't know where I messed up there, but it's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our left and right turn signal, which do I even hook that? that? Okay, I don't have that hooked up. So I'll do that in my own time. So that's all you need to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this for nav lights, or not nav lights, but navigation lights, navigation tutorial. Okay, so now we're going to spawn it in. Okay, infinite electric is on because there's no power hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and go into the cockpit. And I'm going to turn it to nighttime with the actual hangar lights off. So let me teleport over here. And I will simply turn the lights off. And there we go. Go ahead and up in the seat. Okay, I'm going to turn main power, avionics, or actually I don't need that. So I'll just go ahead and turn on all the lights that I need. And there we go. So, um, oh shoot, we forgot to hook up our strobe lights. We still need to do that, so let's go ahead and grab a blinker. Alright, so we're just going to place the blinker right here. Right here, right here I said. Well, okay, there, that was odd. Okay, so it's going to be on for 0.3 of a second and off for 0.6. So, this will go directly to the actual strobe. Oh, what did I connect it to? That's supposed to be there. Okay. So this will go to the actual strobe lights, and now let's hook this up to the other strobe lights. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and hook this up to the strobe lights. Okay. Alright, now let's go ahead and spawn it in. So, let me go ahead and save it and spawn it. Okay, it's over here. So, let me go ahead and hop in. What the heck? You guys probably can't see anything, but that was odd. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn on all the lights we need. So, let's simply just turn these on just like that and there we go yeah so that works all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and end the episode here so that's it for today so thank you guys all so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and join the discord it'll be linked down below and while you're at it you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every single time i upload so with that said i will see you guys in the next one so bye for now